What's up, everybody? Um, <clears throat> this video is about military bearing, right? And I see a lot of guys get uh, pretty much, you know, checked on and called out on it or whatever. And sometimes you won't get called out on it, but it will show up somewhere else. Now, what is military bearing? Military bearing is basically. Um, and you can put it in your own words, but in my own words, it's pretty much respecting um, uh, everything and everyone around you, respecting the chain of command, using the, the ch um, chain of command in the right way. You know, because a lot of us, when, you, when you're when brand new to the military, I me, mean, I'm in the Navy, so, you know, they're going to always say, you know, the OIC, or officer, or, um, you know, it might be a chief, warrant officer, uh, a commander, lieutenant commander, whatever may have you, they may say, hey, you know, if you got any questions, I got an open door policy. Anyone can come in, right? So a lot of, a lot of uh, brand new sailors, you know, they figure they can just, if they have a problem, they just go jump over everybody's head and go straight to that lieutenant or that OIC or chief, right? Um, which I'll explain later in the video. Also, uh, another part of uh, military band is how you look, has your uniform squared away? Is your, uh, you know, your attitude, are you professional? And um, also how you look in your uniform isn't so much your uniform squared away, which it should always be, but how you actually look in it, meaning your weight. <coughs> now, uh, I'm gonna start with the weight thing, right? Cause I never took that into the account until we were having training, uh, I wanna say it was about two weeks ago. And I said, you know, I never thought about that. But um, yes, so a part of military bearing is your weight. So if you're overweight, it will show in your uniform, especially if you don't update your uniform. So by you constantly, if you're like, if you trouble with keeping your weight down, that should be one of your main focuses because that is a part of military bearing. and. If your uniform is getting smaller and smaller, you will have to uh, go buy a new uniform so you can look presentable in your uniform at all times. But that will become costly. You do not want to constantly keep buying a, a new uniform. And I know that, know this from personal experience. A lot of my weight goes straight to my stomach, and I had to buy, uh, you know, a bigger blouse. You know. Um, so and it will get expensive dress blues are the most expensive ones uh dress whites are a little cheaper um but yeah you don't want to go down that route um also um what else did i say i said your weight oh make sure your uniform is squared away you know me i typically uh even though i'm short duty so we don't have to wear the black boots which means if you're wearing the black boots you will have to shine them often uh, I never got the short duty boots and being that I got such little time left before I get to my new command I don't feel like I need to go spend another hundred and seventy dollars on some you know you know land boots or whatever you call them um, so me I have to make sure my boots are shining now me being that I work in an office setting I definitely should always be presentable and I uh, definitely should have my boots shine now the guys who kind of work in the shop, they do a lot of, uh, you know, manual labor. They can kind of get away with not having their boots shine because they're gonna constantly scuff them up because of their environment that they're in. So they kind of make leeway for them. Or to, if I'm not mistaken, um, a lot of times when you get to your command, they will issue some new boots. That way you can have a inspection pair and you can have a pair that you work in, you know. So, and we do do inspections. We don't do them a lot because of the whole virus situation, but um, inspections, depending on where you're at or how they do things at your command, uh, you will do them often. Like uh, me, I'm at FRC Southeast. Uh, when I worked at in Logs and Records, because I'm an AZ, um, we started making it where it was like, we was doing an inspection every week, you know, and it was just, to, just, just for us to stay on point. You know, and I'm pretty sure someone came in a little unpre uh, unpresentable one too many times, and instead of them singling everybody out, 
um, you know, I'm more than likely they're like, you know what? I mean, singling that one person out, they more than likely was like, you know what? Let's just get, since no one checked them, we're just gonna check everybody. And now, you know, every morning we're gonna make sure your uniform is squared away. So uh, that's how that happened. Hey, uh, one interjection, cause I forgot to add it in. But uh, for those of you guys who wear glasses, um, that is a part of, keeping your glasses clean is a part of uh, your uniform and part, it can be um, a, a knock against your military bearing if you don't keep them clean. Uh, and boot camp especially, you need to keep them clean at all times because when you take a uniform inspection, they're gonna, they're gonna check the lens for any scratches, or smudges and even the frames themselves if it's looking a little smudged up they will knock you for it me and my rack mate we used to take our glasses off so when we did our uniform inspections in our boot camp uh we would get ready get set up and right before we get to that tow line because once you get to the tow line you're not going to ever move again um we'll take them off and put them up under our blanket that way they can't say nothing about my glasses because they're not there to inspect, you know, because thing about glasses, you're you're not going to keep them totally clean, especially when you're used to looking out of them. There's going to be things you don't even notice no more. You know how you can go nose blind to smells? You can become sight blind to smudges on your glasses. Like right now, I can see all the smudges because I'm talking about it. But if I was out about my day and I'm kind of busy, I'm not noticing the smudges. Also, your haircut and your shave is another crucial part to your uniform and military bearing and you can get knocked for it you can and will they will come up so close to you they're looking for one little hair out of place they're going to check under your neck anything out of place it will get knocked against you now that's military that's boot camp extreme but um doing uniform inspection your, your shave needs to be decent. Your shave needs to be, forget decent, make sure it's on point. I, I didn't have no one checking my shave like that, looking like this, you know, but they did check my haircut and they were like, they're gonna, especially with the guys, they're looking for any hair to place. The ladies also, they're looking to see how tight that bun is rolled. If there's a hair out of place, like depending how anal, you know, that inspector is that day yeah you know so just another side note i forgot to add it in and when i went to asd when i went tad to asd aviation uh support detachment uh yeah we didn't do uniform inspections like that but you know it is shore duty so sometimes uh that didn't happen when i was there and they probably weren't gonna give it to me anyway by me being an az because they always need an az and it's just they got disposable LSs. If you hit like an outstanding, uh, I think they gave you like a day off or something, something crazy. But anyway, so I said your weight and making sure your uniform is squared away. Also, uh, make sure you're shining boots. Like me, I could have got an OS. Um, well, I did get an OS, but I wasn't. They were going to pick the the outstandings of the outstandings, and me. It's only me and this one other girl, we typically shine the heck out of our boots. And she shine hers every day. Me, I shine one good time, which is on Sunday night. And I'll hit them with a quick shine every morning. Uh, her, she actually takes the time out and like, um, you know, shine them every day. And me, I have a cutoff border on mine where you see some guys, they put the tape down. That way there's like a, a, a border of where the shine is hers actually blended into the whole boot so she got me on that one so now i'm going to just shine my whole boot but anyway um yeah so and a lot of and honestly when you shine your boots especially when you're in an area where uh there's a lot of physical labor going on people will notice it and you know people from other shops notice it uh the chiefs will you know compliment us or whatever and yes all of this is a part of military bearing um and uh, the other obvious part, the last obvious part is the respect level, you know? So um, when you go into the shop, you know, uh, you can just say good morning to everybody. And, you know, depending on how it is, cause sometimes there might be like five chiefs in there and I just be like, good morning. 
I'll just say good morning, Chief. I'm not gonna make it plural and be like Chiefs or Chief Assist, and I'm not gonna do that. I just be like good morning, Chief. And if there's happened to be one officer above, I'd be like good morning, sir, or ma'am. You know, and you know, it's you know, keep it like that. Also throughout the day when you're interacting with uh, your chain of command. So me, I'm an AZ, so it's always AZ three. AZ2, AZ1, Chief, and above. So once you keep all of that in line, all of that in check all the time, um, you know, it does go on your eval. That is one spot on your eval for uh, military bearing and all of that counts towards your military bearing. So you can have everything except for maybe your weight's not in check or maybe you don't shine your boots. You know, that is a knock a point that you will miss on um, your evaluation. So, um, and that's the part why I said it's gonna show elsewhere because sometimes you might, no one ever might check you on it. But when you get your eval, it might say poor military bearing. And you're sitting around like, no one ever said nothing, you know, but it will be there. So just because no one doesn't say it, doesn't mean it's not happening or they're not noticing. Cause trust me, people do notice. And, and you know, me where I'm at, people are typically kind of lax and comfortable, but not to say I'm some super duper Joe Navy type of person. Um, you know, I'm a very relaxed person, but when you outrank me, I'm just, hey, AZ2, AZ1, AZ3. You know what I'm saying? Typically when you're AZ3, you're, or when you come in with the guys who are, like all y'all the same rank, but you may have ranked up before them, or you maybe y'all both y'all both walked in. Let's say y'all came E one all together, or one of y'all came in. Let's say y'all came E one all together, but you may have put on uh, E three before them, right? And they may have to take the test, or you got maps. Typically, amongst that little group, they won't say A Z three. They'll just be like, they'll just call you by your name. You know what I'm saying? And typically that person is cool with it because they all kind of came up together, you know, but still keep that, uh, you know, that, that line of respect, you know, now if they tell you on some personal level, like, Hey, you just call me by my name, keep that around you guys. Because even though that person may be cool with it, you know, you come in the shop and there's like an extra person there that outs rank them, but you know, and they can hear you talking to them like y'all on the same level. Um, that person can get checked for it, or that person may go to your chief about it and be like, why you got your your, your, your airmen, you know, talking to your AZ2s and AZ3s, you know, on name basis or first name basis, like, you know, so that does happen and I've seen um, situ situations like that happen. So, you know, I've been in the office where the next day you know, we're having a meeting, they're like, you know what? Hey, from now on, y'all can't be just saying, hey, Harris, hey, Jones, you know, you gotta be like, you better address them as who they are. It's even, they may be cool with it. They might be rolling their eyes when it's like, man, we ain't on this, you know, but other people are always watching. So um, anyway, that concludes this video about military bearing. So if you got any questions, let me know and I'm out.